Hey everyone, welcome to another RP video tutorial. So in this video, basically we are going to talk about one of the important command which is available in automation anywhere, that is object cloning. So I'm going to explain you what is object cloning, how we are going to use object cloning. So what are the best practices which we can follow while using the object cloning? So those these things we are going to discuss about uh, in this particular tutorial video. So what is object cloning? So object cloning is basically used for capturing object that uses technologies, you know, such as Flex, Silverlight, Java or HTML. So object cloning capture the properties such as, you know, X, Y coordinates, object properties, etc, etc. So basically this command is used to recognize object and their properties, including, you know, their names, type, path, value etc etc and the you know good thing about it is like this object cloning command we can use with a desktop based application or with a web based applications so i will explain you each and everything how object cloning use what are the things you have to follow while using the object cloning so let me move to automation anywhere and i'll show you how we will use the object cloning so currently i'm using automation anywhere 11 okay so let me uh, select this command and drag into the body okay so to show you a simple uh, you know how we will use the object cloning i have open a google okay so here i will show you how we can write anything using a google uh, object cloning okay so let me go to automation anywhere so what you have to do you have to select the window so that window name is google right so if you see here, you can see here that window name. So let me, okay, Google Internet Explorer, okay. So next, what you have to do, you have to do a left click and hold your mouse. So you can see here, this information is mentioned here. Before going to the next step, I just want to tell you here, in object cloning, we have three types of play mode available. One is object mode, another is coordinates mode, and the final one is a image mode. So using object mode, I will show you how it will work. So if you see the coordinate mode, it will basically capture the position of that particular information or action, what you are going to do. And the images, it will capture the image. So I'm going to explain you about these three, how we are going to use. So first, let me use the object mode. Okay. So one thing like, you, you know, if you select the object mode and if you perform any action, so by default, it will take the coordinates and the image information so let me go and show you how it will work so i have selected the uh, the window from which i want to uh, write something or uh, use object cloning so let me go and click here so you can see here my object cloning it will like you know it will reflect this particular box which got selected so this is the area where we can write something okay so once you leave your uh, left click, then it will take you to the automation anywhere or uh, uh, enterprise client page. So you can see here, these are the property which object cloning captured from that particular uh, window. So you can see here, this is like an you know, HTML tag. It is uh, input, okay? And the type is text and the HTML title is search. So these are the by default information which will object cloning will capture. So let me click OK. If you come here in this uh, right hand side, you can see here select action. So here you can see so many information is available like get property, set text, append text, click, left click, right click, double click. So it is totally depending on your requirement what you want to do. Right. So based on that, you can go ahead and make the changes. So if I select get property, you can see here, let, let's say if you want to get the value of a HTML class. So what you have to do, you have to select that HTML class and you can assign into a variable. Okay, so similarly, like you can uh, make the changes here in the select property part and you can run it, right? So let's say if I select HTML text, okay, if I click here, so let's see what value it is showing in HTML text. So currently HTML text is blank, so it will not say anything. So let me select the HTML title. So from here I'm selecting HTML title, okay? So this is the HTML title I'm assigning into a clipboard. So let me save, okay? 
and I'm using message box to show you how it will work. So I'm selecting clipboard here and doing a save. Let me run it. So you can see the title was search so it is coming in the box okay so now let me go to automation anywhere once again okay so let me open this command once again and i'll show you other information let's say i want to write something else okay i want to write something like automation anywhere okay then let me click on save and let me delete this clipboard command let me run it okay once i run so this particular object cloning will write automation anywhere in the google box so you can see here so we have written the automation anywhere right okay so this is all about the writing or uh, something using the object cloning so now i will show you you know how to get the information from the, any of the uh, you know particular web page okay so okay here only i will show you so let me select object cloning once again or what i can do i can use this object cloning because my window name is same and i will click on capture okay let's say i'm uh, capturing this information google search so now if you see here in this property part we can see the information got change right so you can see the html value as google search submit so so it is depending on the area or the position which you are capturing using object cloning so it will change from uh, the action right so it will change the value i mean once you select that particular part or the location of the web page okay so now let me go to another uh, page of the internet so this is a page where uh, you know i'm going to show you some other example so as you may aware object cloning is a you know best for the actions like uh, you know if you have anything drop down box if you do want to do some selection or you want to do some check so object cloning is the best for uh, those type of activities okay so let me uh, go to object cloning okay again i'm selecting this but this time window name will change right so what i have to do i have to go to the automation anywhere so this is the web page name so now you can see here if i select this particular page okay okay let me go to automation anywhere so you can see here the html tag is now showing as select and the inner text is showing as random male and female if i go back to this page if i click on drop down you can see here these are the value which is available in this page so in case if you want to select anything let's say male female so we have to build uh, another uh, you know you have to uh, use object cloning you have to do this click then you have to select male female and all right so okay this is the uh, uh, i mean this is the code which will help you to work with a drop down things so one one of the important information which i want to share you here is let's say this is the name which is coming here okay if i click on generate this name will change okay so it will you know if you use the object cloning okay the value of the properties will also get changed okay so now you can see here this is the name like scene m right so let me use object cloning and capture this value Okay, I'm selecting this particular page. Okay. So now you can see here this HTML inner text uh, information is showing as that name. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on OK. Okay. And I'm going to use a get property. Okay. 
so in get property you saw like uh, that html inner text is showing that required name or the available name okay so again i'm going to use a clipboard okay so i'm going to use a message box to display the output okay if i run this code it will display that particular name so you can see here this is the name okay another thing let's say if i click once again here on generate it will change the name right now it changed to andrew h allman right so if i once again run the same code so it will throw an error i will show you why why it is uh, throwing the error and how we will work with this type of scenarios where you know uh, elements are getting changed all the times for that we will use uh, some special options which is nothing but a wild card so i'll show you how we are going to change let's error come then i'll show you so you can see here uh, the error is showing like unable to find the static text search criteria did not match okay so let me uh, go to the code and i'll show you why it happened you can see here this html text is looking for that old name okay so that is the reason now my name got changed to andrew right now there is no scene so it's a best practice or if you want to uh, not to get this type of error what you have to do you have to use the wild card so you have to put the asterisk symbol so what it will do in let's say whatever changes is happening with the inner text so object cloning will help you to get the value which is available with the page so if i run this it will get that particular name in the clipboard so you can see here if i change once again if i generate another name okay now it changed to antonio okay so let me run once again so it will show the antonio here so you can see here right so it is working fine let me go to automation anywhere once again so you can see here like i was talking about this play mode so once you use the object mode so by default it will capture the coordinate also okay if you want you can add the title okay or if you want to do a recapture position you can go ahead and do that if you come to image you can see here this is the image part which bot captured okay so in case if you want to make some changes you can go ahead and make the match percentage you can reduce uh, to 90% 80% or whatever percentage is you know uh, giving you the good result you can go ahead and change but it's better to use the object mode if your object mode is not able to capture your property then you can go with the coordinate mode and the image mode right and the disadvantage of using coordinated image mode is let's say in case of any changes in the you know place or image your bot will fail right so it's better to use the object mode now if you see the legacy technology option is uh, available also with object cloning part so basically legacy technology is uh you know it will help you to work with the old technology let's say uh let me go to once again in uh, the page okay so let's say if you want to capture this particular information right so sometime you might have noticed bot is not able to capture this particular page so instead of capturing this particular uh, element bot is capturing something else so if this type of scenario is happening with your code so you you have to you know you have to understand that code is based or this page is based out of the old technology there what you have to do you have to click on legacy technology once you click on legacy technology it will help you to capture the required element from there okay so it is up to you if you develop a bot if you find any type of error you can go ahead and try with the legacy technology you have to make the you know proper changes in the property values so your bot will be uh you know it will not get fail so it's like you know it is depending on you as per the process requirement you have to analyze this information which is available here you can reduce or increase the 
you know matching criteria by clicking here if you want to uh, remove anything which you think which is not helpful or useful for this particular requirement you can go ahead and remove okay so uh, this is all about uh, from the object cloning part so in case if you have any questions you can let me know so if you like this video and find it is helpful for you i would request you to kindly subscribe my channel and share with others and don't forget to click on like button also your feedback is highly appreciated and it will help me to make it better so thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you very much